Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Uh, today's video obviously has my little pumpkin here behind me. Uh, she just woke up from her nap. I was waiting for my phone to charge and she woke up at that time. So this is going to be a little more rushed of a video, but I still hope you guys enjoy it. So I was talking like, I don't know, a couple, a couple videos ago. I think on my 2020 goals about how I'm doing a new series of like healthy eating and like um, basically like how I am after pregnancy, um, be, like my body going back to the way it was and just getting into a better, healthier me. So this is the first video and this is more of an intro video to the series. So I plan on having videos where it's like what I eat in a day or all the workouts that I do or something like that. Won't be long each video, but at least it's something for you to see and for me to help keep up my progress and just keep on doing this new lifestyle change. Because with anything, it should become a lifestyle change. So I wanted to talk first a little bit about my background. So. For anyone who's new, um, my name is Samantha. And uh, Sophia is turning five months old now. So I am five months postpartum. I think that's the way you say it. And my body isn't exactly how it looks anymore, like before baby. So I just want to get back into like a better looking body for myself. Before I got pregnant, I was already kind of going up in weight a little bit, like not by a lot, like five pounds here, another five pounds. So since I basically like in the last seven years, I would say I gained about 25 pounds total, but that makes sense. Like you're getting older, your body's maturing. It's normal. But for me, it's like, okay, I keep <sighs> I keep gaining another like size, you know, and with myself, I want to eat out less and start making better meals for us at home. Before baby, I weighed 140. I was pregnant for the first three to four months. I obviously lost weight. I feel like that's common. I lost weight. Oh my gosh, she's killing me. Um, I lost weight and I was one... 30 something I never I didn't gain weight initially and then when the months start going by and you're in your second to third trimester that's when I started weaning I started gaining weight and it was good doctor said don't worry about it it'll come when it happens like as long as I didn't continue losing weight we were fine and I saw I gained when I walked into hospital I weighed 168 and then when I left hospital I basically gained, I stayed the same pretty much. So those first three to four weeks after I had her, I was wearing like the Spanx. I was wearing anything like compression to just put my stomach and all its like stuff inside back to small, like compress and just try and get my belly to go down basically. And it did for the most part, which was great. I felt great right away. Uh, no complaints there and then slowly I started losing the weight and now I'm back to my pre-weight 140 well actually I think I'm 145 now because I need to make sure that I stay on top of myself and do the workouts so I can eat as clean as I want but if I don't associate some workouts with it, it just won't happen for me. And now it's always the toughest thing. It's like those last 10 pounds you want to get rid of and just feel good. It's always the hardest. And I feel like that's what I'm going through right now. So you see here on the thing, I'm going to show some little clips. I weigh 145 right now. And my scale is amazing. It tracks everything. I have it all recorded on my, com on my computer, on my iPhone, an app. When I look at it, it's like motivation. I go on there and I can see the chart and the chart has like arrows and things like, so I weigh myself every morning, every night. It's probably not a good thing, but for me, I can see like what's going on. What have I done that day 
that like took me overboard did i drink enough water so i haven't been drinking enough water and that's another thing i need to do is w drink a lot more water at least two to three liters a day will make a difference i also have great meals now i did a grocery shop i was starting when I first started this, I also watched another girl's video. She lost, but she's different. She lost 15 pounds in one week. I'm not like that. I'm not extreme, but it was her grocery list that, you know, made me really realize what kind of changes I needed to do or what other things I should buy. So my grocery list now is way more manageable. I go every week to get the, you know, the veggies and everything that I want. Not a big list, but it's small every time. Here is my grocery haul for my little kickstart. Um, everything I got was off of this one girl's video. I'll leave a link to her video down below. And I feel like I got everything packaged because it was easy for me to do checkout on my own at the Walmart. Um, she said oats. Basically, I went with the oats that I thought would be tasty, but yet also um, low in calories per package. This one says 150. All the other ones said 160 or 170 as well. Even the whole grain, like not the whole grain, the gluten-free ones, like the, the special ones, I guess. Um, avocados, hopefully these ripen. I don't know how to really use avocados. Look at this. I bought this one. What's what's going on here with this one? I don't know. Um, apples, the she uses goat cheese. I'm like, maybe I should try feta. I don't know if that's right or wrong but it tastes good in salad for me. And I went with the one with the less amount of calories per serving. Um, kombucha, she also talks about, I basically looked for one that would be tasty <laughs> and also low in calories. So this one says 31 calories for 250 milliliters. This has 355, so I'm sure it's not terrible. I got this other kombuchas to try that are 60 calories. Uh, tart cherry. I have no idea if these are going to be good or not. I just know I don't like the other ones that they carry. Like the ginger and all those. I'm sure those are better for you, but... I'm Dessert for one of the nights is um, Halo Top. So I grabbed these I found. Uh, it only comes four inside, so I'm not tempted to eat them all. And it's only 80 calories per um, stick. So this is a good, nice dessert for us. I try to have less calories per day. So if you're trying to lose weight and you're not doing a lot of exercises, you wanna be on a caloric deficit. So you wanna not eat the 15, 19 to 1500 calories a day because you're not working them off. If you work out every day, great, but I'm not. So my calorie intake is around the 1200 calories a day. Now that's me really paying attention. Every day I'm not fully paying attention. I'm not putting everything into my fitness pal so I can see where it's all going. I pretty much am eyeballing, eyeballing it a lot and like being good on myself. Like, no, no, no. I don't need that cupcake. <laughs> um, or I'll, um, I've tried to get other things that are less calories per serving. So that way I can enjoy those items. So like I have breads. Each slice of my bread is 50 calories. Um, <clears throat> I try to eat less like pastas or rice. I only have like one serving if I do. And I'll only eat it once per day because I probably have already eaten the avocado or a slice of bread. Something like that, right? So food, I'll also insert pictures here of some food things that I've done that honestly tastes so amazing that now I am craving these meals that I've done now I've also started to incorporate some workouts so far I've only done two times a week I should try and do it way more but I need to start that like kind of slowly because it's too much for me all in one and then after I'll probably you know crash and not want to do it for a whole week or something dumb like that so if I do it twice a week, push myself to do that, and I try to do it while she takes a nap, so that way I can really get in there. And I don't leave the house. It, everything's on the mat, like you'll see. I like wearing a sweater. Like, I need to go wash after this. I'm like sweating to death. 
I like wearing this sweater so that I can really like get a perspiration going. I can get a, my sweat on, you know, that kind of stuff and really like go hard. So I do some hit cardio and that's basically I'll put, I usually put a timer on my phone. I'll do 30 seconds skins, just running on the spot and then I go on high gear the next 30 seconds. I do that for about seven or eight minutes. So 30 seconds good, 30 seconds fast, 30 seconds good, 30 seconds fast. And I keep doing that back to back. I've also been following this other girl. I'll link her page down below. I'll link whatever I can down below. And basically she does the workouts with you. So little ab workouts, that's what I was doing. She has other challenges as well that you can sign up for. Um, I don't think I'm at the stage yet to sign up for any challenges or anything. I think I should just do my pace for now and then I can slowly start seeing results. So I plan hopefully to give more updates on how I'm doing and where my weight loss goal is at in the upcoming months. Well, hopefully everyone enjoyed this video and you really got something out of it. If you have any comments or anything that you'd like to say or ask, please leave comments down below. And please don't forget to like this video and let me know that you actually liked watching this and if you made it this far into the video. Now, I gotta get to this antsy little mama over here. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And have a great week, guys. Later, YouTube.